So this week we're going to talk about 10 artists working in recycled art um, or using recycled materials um, to do their work. So we're going to just look at some different examples of famous artists who do this. Um, this is a piece by Subdo Gupta um, called Nature Morte, which um, you can see is like a giant metal uh, tree, but in the branches are like pots and pans and, um, you know, other types of metal kitchenware. And um, what's really interesting is that, though, when you look at it from a distance, it totally just looks like bunches of branches. Um, but when you get up close, you can see that um, they are actually made out of all those different metal materials. So recycled art tends to have um, notions or messages about being um, all about, you know, has a political message and that we should, you know, use less and reuse and recycle and don't throw things away. Um, and it also kind of touches on those economic and social aspects of, you know, being caring of the earth and, um, you know, watch what you're using. And so you, some artists use it just like we did as making 3D sculptures. And some artists use um, recycled materials to create flat artworks, the relief sculpture, also just like um, some of us did. So this is one by um, Sebastio and um, is kind of created with a bunch of recycled materials as well. This is more like almost refuse or garbage, um, but now arranged to make an image, which is kind of cool. It's a Brazilian artist. Derek Gores. Um, he is one that uses flat artwork or flat um, packaging, you know, often from um, cereal boxes or artwork or posters that he finds in the city, and then he cuts them apart and then glues them back together to create um, flat imagery. So this is what we could call a collage. So Derek Gores. Uh, Tim Noble and Sue Webster, they're kind of a team of artists, and the, this work is called The Wild Mood Swings, and they are one someone that works as what we call shadow art, and um, specifically they make these really cool sculptures that are just made out of junk, um, but when you shine a light from just the right place, they make these really awesome looking sculptures on the wall behind them. So. Yes, it's made out of garbage. Usually it's junk and it's weird looking stuff or it's pieces of wood or whatever. And then, but when you actually look on the shadow, it creates lots of different figures. So um, these two make art together and um, make their constructed sculptures together, which is pretty cool. They're British. Um, Guerra de la Paz is a collective of Cuban artists. So that means that there's many people together making art um, and they work from unconventional materials like recycled clothing uh, and they like to do very very colorful artwork so you can see in this one um, we've got rain boots and then recycled um, ra rainbow of clothing all the purples together all the blues together which is kind of a neat um, neat idea of creating a sculpture and then you can actually walk through this in the museum which is kind of a cool experience to get to get up close and see it personally. Uh, Nick Gentry which is a London-based artist and he uses um, floppy disks as his canvas. So um, used to be one long time ago that computers instead of having CDs or um, you know having internet connection to find files um, or even like a USB drive or any, any of those connecting things um, or like a CD drive. Instead of having any of that, they had something called a floppy disk drive. And you had to insert this little plastic card, which looks like the save icon nowadays. And um, that was what you had to put in your computer in order to save a Word document um, and then bring it with you to school or work. And so this artist, he glues these together and then paints on top of them. 
So it always has this kind of weird texture. Uh, and even in the white space here, you can see that the texture of these floppy disks, which is kind of cool because um, they have this little slidey part. So it's a little bit 3D, which is kind of fun. Um, so this is one way of sort of reusing or repurposing these objects, which would otherwise go into the landfill because they're obsolete. We don't need them anymore. So here is an artist named William uh, de Volier. He um, is a Belgian artist and he likes to transform, you know, old used objects into new artwork. So this, he did a whole series on tires, which um, if you weren't aware, tires are kind of notorious as being a polluter um, because they won't ever really break down if you put them in a landfill. They generally can only break down tires by burning them, which is really, really bad for the environment because of all the chemicals that are used to make tires. And of course, you know, with as many people that drive, um, tires are a big pull on our resources. So, you know, this artist wanted to make a series um, that could repurpose tires from being something that is just um, a big problem for our environment to being a beautiful piece of art that we could enjoy, uh, so which is kind of cool. He's also done artworks with metal, steel caps, and uh, dump trucks, which is kind of cool. Kali Christie. Um, Kali Christie does plastic bag sculptures. So you can kind of see these are like all made out of plastic bags and they almost look like they're ghosts or these kind of creepy, odd um, creations, which is kind of fun. Uh, she does other things with other stuff, but this series was about plastic bags. Suda Grupa which is an Indian artist who lives in New Delhi and makes um, large scale sculptures from everyday life materials. So in this case, this one is made out of um, cookware and small pots and pans and um, small bowls and that kind of thing. And so now we have this now massive, strange shape that's really cool and nice to look at. Almost looks like a tree again, which is cool. Um, line of control brass. Very nice. Um, Ptolemy Erlington, uh, which is an artist based out of Brighton, and um, he likes to create animals and creatures out of used car parts. Um, so this one's made out of hubcaps, all bent and shaped to make a shark, which is kind of cool. Uh, Yukin Teruya is um, a Japanese artist and they explore consumerist habits, um, which is to say they, um, the things that we like buy a lot. That's what consumerism is. And so um, what this artist does is they actually make um, karagami, which is a like tiny versions of origami. So this is all paper that has been cut and sculpted and we are inside of a mcdonald's bag so i don't know if you can see this so this is very very tiny it's very small sculpture um and really really cool that it has so much detail and yet is so so tiny which is really cool so there's other artists too and um this There have been a lot of really cool artists that do recycled sculptures, and there's tons more than just the ones that I'm showing you today, but these are just some great ones to kind of help get you thinking. Um, I'd like to know which of these images kind of struck home with you or you thought you thought was interesting.